Hey everyone, Chris here from iHeart Wellness and today is another loving, liking and licking video. As you know, November is over and December is here. I kind of switched up my filming into, so you can see some of my tree and decorations up on the mantle. And yeah, I'm just gonna share with you the stuff that I was using on a daily basis or that I really fell in love with in the month of November. A lot of this stuff you might have seen before, I might have reviewed on the blog or done other videos on, but they're just so great, I love using them so much. So let's get started. Um, First off, in my loving, you know if you follow me on my blog that I am addicted to Dijon mustard. Like, seriously put me in a freaking home. I'm addicted. Um, this is the Dijon that I like. It's by Orphe or, you know, Mason or I don't know. It's just Dijon mustard and it's really, really good. And I get it from Whole Foods and I think it's on sale right now for like $2.99 or something. It's hot. It's organic and it's sexy and it goes on all my salads, it goes on all my wraps, it goes as dips for my sugar peas. I usually have a snack of sugar peas, goat cheese and that and I just live off of it. It's amazing. So if you like Dijon, you're going to really like that one because it's hot, zippy and um, adds a nice little flavor. And the thing I liked about this is it has apple cider vinegar in it, not white vinegar. And I don't know if that makes a big difference to you, but to me it just gives a nicer flavor. So. Anyways, I use that brand of olive oil too, and I really enjoy it. It's I only see it at Whole Foods, and I guess a couple other grocery stores might carry it around here too. Anyways, I'm rambling. Okay, so next on my list is this um, chamomile apple tea. And so I, in the winter, I prefer to drink something hot, so all day long I tend to sip on herbal tea. I won't sip on caffeinated tea all day long, but this has been really keeping me hydrated, and it's nice, it's gentle, it just is... Um, just chamomile and apple pieces, I believe, wherever. Chamomile, natural apple apple flavor, and um, ginger and cinnamon pieces as well. So it's really sweet and fragrant and really delicious. So who would have thought? It's nice. Okay, next on my list, as I know I've spoken about before on my blog, is my EOS, or I don't even know, EOS um, lip balm and it's the organic one and it's the lip sphere that looks like this and I'm not gonna lie it's a little awkward to like put on I don't know um, but it smells like this one's summer fruit so it smells absolutely delicious and it has coconut oil so it's super hydrating on your lips and never gets sticky and it kind of has like a nude wash to it so it actually has like a nice just natural glow it's not like super shiny or not pink it's just perfect so I told I don't know about the other flavors there's a sweet mint that I want to try too it's in um, a teal container but the reason I chose this one is because my mom said the teal looked like a hospital and so I chose not to the color of the hospital you know anyways the pink's better okay next on my loving list is are these uh, gluten-free pretzels I'm sure a lot of you have seen them I've made the chocolate covered pretzels out of these before and um, Sometimes at night if I'm hungry, I'll just dip into the, I just buy a small bag so I won't eat like a huge thing. Plus, the big bag is like a 10.99. That's like high roller. So, that's a love. That's a love. I'm moving on to my likes now. Okay. So, liking. This uh, Dr. Bronner's soap. This is, it's Dr. Bronner's is really weird. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. But this is a tea tree hemp pure castle. Style castile soap. It's made of oils, like olive oil and coconut oil and stuff like that. And it can be used for anything. It can be used for washing your hair, brushing your teeth, cleaning your body, washing your face, washing your freaking car, dishes, you name it, everything. It's so natural and so safe. Now the reason this is on my like list is I love how um, versatile it is and how clean I feel after. Like I will use it to like shave my legs and, or clean my body if I don't have other um, natural soap in the shower. The reason so I'm liking is because I got the tea tree one and I absolutely despise the smell of tea tree oil. So I should not have went with this one, but I mean, I thought because the healing properties, it would be good and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, it's just on my liking because I love how natural it is and safe it is, but it, it doesn't smell nice. There is other flavors, scents, like um, lavender and stuff like that I know, so I probably should try one of those, but this one right now is not my favorite. Anyways, I'll try another one next time. 
Okay, also on my liking list is, you know, I love Enjoy Life brand and all their cereals and everything is so fantastic. And I love, love, love that they are the aller they're allergy safe. And this is honest to Pete. The reason I buy these chocolate chips is because they're they are allergy friendly, but I much prefer a dark, dark, like 72% chocolate in my um, baked goods. This is not. This to me is more like um, a safe milk chocolate. So it goes perfectly in chocolate chip cookies, but if you want something really decadent, these are not decadent to me. So they're on my like list. Of course I'll keep purchasing. Um, I support the brand. I love what they're doing. And yeah, okay, let's move on. Next on my like list, it's so funny that these are on my like list because I eat them almost every single day, are these brown rice uh, tortilla shells. Now I love them because they are brown rice and that, that means it's safe and okay for me to eat burritos and I don't have like upset stomach after, but they fall apart really easily so I want to find a gluten free wrap that still is as like doesn't have as many ingredients, like less ingredients like this one, but it does hold a nice wrap. These will break in half and then everything splits and your lettuce and mustard fall it all over the place. But they're tasty and they're really good for making like brown rice chips and um, knockoff churros like you've seen on my blog and I'll put the link below because they are fan freaking tastic. Okay, the liking list, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. I know, like please, no judging, no hating. This is this is what I'm gonna put on my licking list. I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I really, I buy it every year and I really wanna be a good fan or a big fan of this, but I'm not. And I don't, before I show it, yeah, oh, I don't know. There's something with the smell of it that it's just like turns me off. And now you know I'm a big fan of peppermint and I love peppermint and chocolate. And if you follow the blog on Treat Friday, I just made peppermint chocolate brownies and they're amazing and fell in love. But I have to say, I'm not a fan of this. Are you, are, are you seriously, like you probably don't believe me right now, everybody under the sun loves this candy cane lane um, tea at the holidays. And I don't know what it is, I, like I say, every year I buy it because it's like the Christmas thing to do, but there's a flavor or something in there that I don't like, it's like the aftertaste and the smell of it, yeah, I don't know. There's much nicer Christmas teas out there that I am liking, so that is just here for when guests come over and I probably will not, you know what? I'll probably will have a cup and only drink a couple sips of it, and maybe it's when it gets when it gets colder it doesn't taste as nice. But anyways, um, that's the loving, liking, and licking list for this past November, and stay tuned to see the December one at the end of December. I think I'll have a lot to share with you then because the holidays seem to bring a lot of cool different things for me to try and different recipes and um, for sure different beauty stuff. I love trying beauty stuff around the holidays like different lip glosses and going into MAC and getting some of their holiday stuff is, is just something I enjoy doing. So I'll be doing more of that and yeah I hope to see you guys around soon online on the blog, on Facebook, on Twitter and everything. So we'll see you later. Have a good rest of your day. Take care.